Hi guys, how are you? In my previous video, I talked about a REST operator, explained how you can use it and what is the equivalent way of doing things in ES5. You can find the link in the description below if you are interested about this. Today, we are going to talk about spread operator, which is part of ES6. And then I'm going to show you what is the equivalent way of doing things uh, in ES5. If you are interested also in ES5, I think the video will be really interesting for you. Consider to subscribe to stay tuned. Let's start. Okay, this is a simple example of uh, spread. In case of REST, we have this three dot inside argument declaration. But when we talk about spread, spread is something like opposite of REST. REST operator combines multiple arguments into single argument. Spread operator does the opposite. It takes these multiple arguments, given in this case as an array, and creates separate arguments for each entry in the array. So if we print A, B, C and D arguments in this function, we have four arguments as a separate normal number arguments. We don't see array at all here. Let's see, um, let's see some complex example, some real world example, um, why this spread operator is useful. Let's look at the following example. We have um, add users function, which takes three users, three arguments, user one, user two, and user three. Um, and we, we are adding these three users somewhere. When we execute our method, we need to pass three users here. So we have array which contains three users. We can do something like users zero is the first argument, users1 is the second argument, and users2 is the um, third argument. When we print our user1, user2, and user3 inside function, we have each of them. User1, user2, and user3. Yeah, we have three objects uh, inside our addusers function. So, much easier way will be, of course, to use our spread operator to pass our user's array, which will be splitted into different argument names. We can just type three dot users. We are telling the engine, okay, uh, I want to pass my user's array with spread operator. You can extract each individual items from the array into its own arguments. And we have the same output. Um, if, what, what happens if you try to accept fourth argument also? Our array contains only three arguments, but we want to accept fourth argument also. In this case, it will be simple, simply undefined. If you use only, you can actually use only two arguments and you don't accept third or other arguments and you will accept only John and Mike. John and Mike. Now let's see how we can achieve the same result in ES5. I'm going to return my code to, to three arguments again, and I'm going to talk about function prototype apply method. The apply method calls a function with given this value, and you can also pass arguments to this function. For example, we have a, uh, inside math library, we have max function, which takes uh, two or more arguments and returns the maximum of, uh, of among all of them. So in this case, 
we call our max function using max apply. We are passing the first argument null, which is what will be this keyword inside max function. As far as max function doesn't really care what is this inside it, it just takes arguments and finds maximum between them. So we pass null. We don't care what is this inside max function. And the second argument is an array which will be converted by the engine as a individual arguments inside the max function. Let's see this um, inside the code. So what we need to do is to call our add users function using apply. We also don't care what is this inside our uh, add users method, so we're going to pass null here. And the second argument is array, which will be users. Magic. We have the same output. User1 is John. We have three objects, actually. Let's write them on different lines. So we have three objects, John, Mike, and Anna, of the same output. We just changed our execution of the function style. We don't execute it normally, but we execute with apply, and the apply does the magic. Apply takes the second argument array, splits them into single individual arguments, and pass it to a user's function. That's the equivalent way of doing things in ES5. And this is the end of the video. If you like the video, click on the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.